What is up, everyone? Welcome back to some more Let's Play na -na 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 Batman Arkham Asylum. I am host, of course, Mr. Spino's X. And in the last episode, the Joker spread Titan into the sewers, and we had to turn off some pumps. But he also set a trap for us uh, as we went through a gauntlet against, you know, uh, more Titan, um, well, arm one of the armies of a thousand veins, um, like that I like to call them in, in this playthrough and of course you know his other Joker thugs and stuff like that but anyway it is one more episode to go everyone yes one more episode to go and I am done with this let's play finally after a year and a half being on hold I'm almost gonna complete this let's play thank god but yeah um but uh after that mm, I'm gonna do a little update video explaining you know what other projects because I have a lot of projects in mind but I decided you know what I'm gonna do a separate um, update video explain you guys what I'm gonna do for now on in the channel and stuff so yeah but yeah but today's episode is gonna be a little shorter because well no longer will we be hitting any more Joker roadblocks yes we're not gonna go up against any uh, Titan Groots or any uh, um, freaking his thugs or anything like that or him setting us traps for us no we are gonna go finally straight to Poison Ivy thank god dude oh, dude when I was playing this game I'm like okay am I actually gonna get to that place like we when Batman said that oh I have to go to uh, Killer Croc's lair to you know find the formula like Poison Ivy said and uh, we hit a roadblock from Scarecrow and of course Joker set up a couple traps for us and everything but you know Batman you know always has a backup plan and stuff you know that's what I like about Batman that's what makes Batman my favorite superhero of all time because of that you know he comes prepared and you know he never gives up at all even when all seems lost but yeah um, he always finds a way around uh, things and stuff and of course that utility belt always comes through but anyway since Joker has we've been occupied with Joker's traps and everything uh, Poison Ivy has gotten a lot stronger and you'll see why when we go outside actually um, yeah um, Poison Ivy pretty much you know once she like one place you know is full of plants is when she becomes her strongest and she could summon like a lot of mutant plants you know from you know mutant uh fly trappers to freaking little dinosaur plant monsters and stuff and you know little sprouts that shoot up spore deadly spores and stuff like that that we've been you know going across a whole arkham asylum and stuff and as you can see right now that the whole everything is pink that means she's getting stronger so we have to stop her before it's too late uh not only if she, not only if it's too late to, to, for her to take over uh arkham asylum um which seems like it is because you know her pants are like literally everywhere but also taking um over a whole gotham city so yeah you know what i've noticed that lately i've just been doing a lot of let's plays based uh games let's plays of games based off comic books I can't help it. I literally can't, you know, because I'm a big comic book fan and, you know, I just find a way to like, oh, yeah, I remember this game. I should do a let's play of this. So, yeah, um, sorry. I, you know, haven't been really doing any like, I don't know, Nintendo games or anything like that. But, yeah, I just noticed since I finished, um, I'm almost finishing the whole Marvel's Capcom series and the Meister Gaming channel and stuff. Um yeah like i don't know but we'll see what happens um if you know i could find something else rather than a, a comic book game <laughs> so yeah but we're almost there we got to go to the mechanical gardens and there's a sniper be careful because as soon as you reach farther in the game there's going to be snipers in the towers so you got to be really really careful and stuff um i literally did not see them coming i literally forgot about that it's just it's been a while since I played this game, so yeah, especially since that whole incident with uh, the PS4 update racing on my uh, captures and stuff. It's just freaking ridiculous, dude, what, that they did that. But yeah, um, where is he at? Oh yeah, he's right there. We're almost close to. We're just literally just need a. I think I'm going the right way. I think this is the right way. I'm really not sure. I think it is. Let me check. 
yeah, I think I'm going the right way. And then here's more of those spores. Dude. Freaking whenever, like, I see just dead bodies of security guards, dude. It's just, like, god damn, dude. Just shows how much farther these villains have gone, especially freaking their thugs. This has gone way long enough. Like, you would think that, you know, Batman could save them, but no. I mean, I think that's what kind of makes, you know, one part of the game perfect is that, you know, the casualties pretty much. Like, you know, Batman can never save them all. And I think I've already talked about this uh, back in episode three, four, somewhere around there. I really don't remember, but oh my gosh, there's the last time I gotta hurry up, get inside the damn thing, hurry, 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 Batman, hurry, hurry, there we go, alrighty then, now we're back in the mechanical gardens, and what did you know, it's literally infested with Titan formula plants, that's why it's glowing green and stuff, and gosh dude, Dr. Young, why, why did you have to do this? Oh boy, it just, and that's the other thing too, it's just not only the thugs, you know, it could be the doctors too, that are very dangerous as well. Here we have another uh, Amadeus Arkham uh, stone right here, Arkham, the spirit of Arkham. Um, again, like I mentioned before, I'm not going to get all of them and stuff because I don't really know where, like, everyone, every single one is at, and I mean... If you want, you know, you could always look up YouTube and stuff, you know, you hear all the uh, Spirit of Arkham uh, conversations and stuff. But yeah, um, there was also a moment where in the comic books, Batman actually got up against Amadeus Arkham, even though, you know, everyone like thought he was dead and stuff. I think it was like sort of, I think because this game is based off of a comic book, like, that was literally where, you know, all the inmates have taken over. But instead of the Joker taking over, I believe it was Amadeus Arkham himself taking over, you know, his own, uh, like, his own facility. His own, like, prison for the criminally insane. Um, where he, he took, it, took it over back and stuff. But, yeah. Um, sorry. Freaking speech impediment we're almost there anyway but yeah i remember he batman went up against him and stuff um i haven't really read the story because you know i never read it so i mean i've looked at it like a cover of it and i'm like oh he actually did fought against amadeus arkham hmm who would have known i mean i mean superman i guess krypton they worship this god named rao and superman actually fought him before too so yeah People you think that, you know, are no longer with us, but yet they come back to life. It's comic books. You know, every uh, comic book character you think is, like, thought was dead, you know, comes back to life and stuff. It's been happening a lot. It's been happening, you know, forever and stuff. And, you know, the thing that revives them is either they get someone from another Earth or, you know, they so happen to have, like, a magic amulet that gets, like, revives them or stuff. Or, like, in the Justice League movie, you know, uh, the Justice League get mother boxes and a mother box and uses the Flash uh, Speed Force in order to, uh, I guess, electrify the box where, you know, once it touches the water, you know, it revives Superman and stuff. So, yeah. Gosh, just, oh my god, Superman in that movie, okay. Um, I know everyone talks about, you know, his CGI mouth because of, you know, him being involved in uh, the new Mission Impossible movie and Tom Cruise not letting him shave it, you know, f to do the reshoots for the Justice League movie and stuff. I mean, um, there could have been many, many ways to avoid this. They could have, Tom Cruise, I, I guess he wanted to keep it authentic, but I guess he didn't, so yeah. I, but I guess he, you know, I guess he wanted to keep it authentic with the, you know, authentic beard. But I guess he didn't want to go with just putting it on him, like, just, like, uh, makeup or something. I don't know, a freaking fake mustache or something. But anyway, Poison Ivy. Sorry if I went off topic. I was talking about, came from Justice League to Tom Cruise. <laughs> There goes her baby. And welcome everyone 
to Poison Ivy's boss battle. Oh my gosh, this boss battle is literally, in my opinion, the best boss battle of the whole damn game. And you know, I could let I could see why they saved the best for last and stuff. Um, even though, yeah, this isn't the last boss fight, but dude, this one is just very awesome, dude. I honestly, um, more on that, more on you know, uh, when you actually face the Joker when you know we get to him, but yeah, dude. Um, in order to defeat Poison Ivy, you could always uh, quickly the, use the quick launch of the batter rank at her and stuff. You don't, she doesn't have to have her little bubble open, you could still attack her to do a little chip damage and stuff. Uh, but of course, you know, when she opens it, you do the most damage and stuff. But you know, I think in my suggestion is use the quick battering even though she doesn't have her little uh pod open just freaking launch it because look at that you get some chip damage you try to avoid her little uh veins popping out of the ground and stuff and you're doing pretty good damage and you know by the time she does open it and stuff you'll you know finish the boss fight really quick and stuff of course like i mentioned before you want to watch out for the veins too so you know once you see some grass you know coming out of the ground avoid that go to that little corner and stuff so yeah um and of course you'll summon you know um like we came across earlier um the the uh people she took in over because you know poison i can mind could you know control people's minds you know by bringing them back to life or it's not only that she could also like you know once she kisses them is you know she's in her control and stuff like that it's not like in the uh um it's not like in the well yeah in a way, it is, but I mean, when you kiss, when she kisses them, she can control them too, not just instantly kill them and stuff, you know. Uh, that whole uh, freaking uh, dust blowing thing that she does in the Batman and Robin movie. Um, I, I honestly don't. I does she do that in the, in the comic books? I'm really not sure. I don't think she does, but she could like. I guess when she kisses people in the movie, like, I guess it instantly kills them. But no, there's more to that, actually. You know, she could actually control them by kissing them. But yeah. And then, you know, she has them in control and everything. And yeah, you know, they'll worship her and stuff. So yeah. Um, but since... Alright, yeah, just be careful with his, like, uh, mind-controlled goons. And then you, another thing is, you know, once she, like... Uh, has her plant up she'll start shooting those spores at you and stuff and you know you want to be careful with that one too obviously i kind of fail in dodging them and stuff because you know i'm just way more focused on doing chip damage to her and stuff we're almost defeating her she only has uh two lives um just like in injustice 2 uh with the two lives and stuff instead of you know having like a round one round two thing so yeah and i'm almost here defeating her just need a little more doing a quite good chip damage so i think as soon as she comes up yeah we'll be able to defeat her real quick so yeah so yeah that's just the way to defeat her and stuff um she gets a lot harder in the uh hard mode too i remember playing hard mode in the xbox 360 and stuff because well you know i've just enjoyed the game so much that i was like you know what i'm gonna play it throughout I, I already passed it in medium, I passed it in easy, even though I, you know, I got the achievement when I, I got both achievements when I played the medium and stuff, and then, um, no, I, I guess I got the achievement for, you know, beating it in easy when I didn't, but I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try beating it in hard, and I actually did, and it was a pretty tough one too, because, uh, I forgot to ask, to say this too, once you, uh, playing this game in medium, I mean in hard, the indicator to you know counter people uh the thugs attacks will not pop out so you know it has to be by sheer luck to counter them and stuff but anyway here we defeated poison ivy not yet though because well we're gonna spray on a little more of the uh explosive gel on her bye bye poison ivy and with that poison ivy defeated oh gosh Watch out, Batman. Oh, dang. This whole place is coming down. You gotta go, Batman. You gotta go. Go, Batman, go. Oh, boy. That was a close one. Whew. Wait, what the? 
What is going on? Joker. <laughs> Alrighty then. I guess we'll go to Joker's party. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Stay tuned for the finale of Let's Play Batman Arkham Asylum. This has been Mr. Pino's X saying good night, good morning, good day. Whatever time you're watching this video, I will see you guys on the next one. Alright everyone, bye.